In this video, I'm going to show you how to optimize the separation of alphas from betas in MicroWin, the software for the Hydex 300 and 600 SL. Within the software, if we go to Result and then Spectra, we can see the spectrums for each individual sample. If I go to Spectra Selection, I can select my beta, beta triple, alpha, alpha triple, and 2D plot. You can view all of your spectras individually or together. If I select the sample and I click the zoom button, I can see it in more detail. Under normal alpha beta 2D separation, you will see the beta peak as well as the alpha peak, but they may merge into each other, in which case you need to do a spill up and a spill down correction. The 300SL is unique in that it has a topographical 2D separation. You can view this by simply deselecting the other options and selecting 2D plot. As you can see, at the bottom is the beta peak and at the top is the alpha peak. The red dotted line is the pulse length indicator. This separates the alphas and betas. Right now, the line is set to 12, but this should be adjusted based on your cocktail. When using a dedicated alpha beta cocktail, such as Hydex's Aqualite AB or Perkin Elmer's Ultima Gold AB, you can afford to have higher PLI, since the separation between the alphas and the betas is much greater. If you're using a standard cocktail, the separation will be poorer, and the region between the alphas and the betas would be much more narrow, possibly even touching. If this were the case, you would have to lower the PLI to around 7 or 8, so it's at the top of the beta region. The PLI setting can be adjusted in Settings, then Advanced Options, then PLI Limit. If I'm using an Ultima Gold or Synth Logic cocktail, I can change this to around 6 to 8, depending on the separation. These other settings here are factory default and should not be changed unless by a LabLogic service engineer. For more information, please get in touch.